everyone, my name is Jacob. Today we're checking out my absolute favorite Mac apps. These are the apps that I use almost every day. They're my favorites and I just wanted to share them with y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but let's get straight into it. So the first app we're gonna check out today is Clean My Mac X, which is actually the sponsor of this video. But just because they're sponsoring this video does not mean that I'm gonna lie to you about the app. Say if I actually hate it, say that I like it or vice versa. Um, this is my honest opinion. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually really like this app. I'm so glad that they're sponsoring this video because this is a great app. Basically what it does is it cleans space off of your Mac, which I have a very big problem with because I only have 512 gigabytes on my Mac, which sounds like a lot to some people, but that is not a lot for me. And it goes up like that. And I always have to clean up all of this junk on my Mac all the time. And this is where this app comes into play. So let's go through a quick little walkthrough of this app and see what it can do. So the first section we have is obviously the cleanup section, which is what this app was originally designed for. So you can do, you can clean up your system junk, your mail attachments and your trash bins. So your system junk just optimizes your system and removes all kinds of errors and also cleans up some free space for you. Then you can remove your mail attachments and empty your trash bins. Now onto protection, you can actually remove malware with this app. So not only can it clean up space, but it can also remove malware on your Mac, which is great. And then you can also go into privacy and remove any browsing traces and it sweeps your chat data on Skype or iMessage or other chats like that. Now moving on to speed, you can actually optimize your speed by seeing all of the apps and programs that are running on your Mac and closing them down and stuff like that. And then running maintenance will run sets of scripts that will quickly optimize your system's performance, which improves drive performance, eliminates application errors, and improves source performance, which is great. Under applications, you can actually uninstall apps, you can update apps, and you can check out your extensions. And finally, under files, you have space lens, which is actually really cool because you can get a visual size comparison of your files and folders on your Mac to see what's taking up so much space and then you can tidy up quicker. You also can check, take a look at all of your large and old files and you can use a shredder, which securely removes any unwanted files and it leaves no trace of them. So if you wanna remove something and not have any trace of it on your Mac, it'll securely remove it. So let's actually use the app. I'm gonna do a quick smart scan, which actually scans through all of these things and makes your Mac performance better, cleans up storage and yeah, let's just do it. So now it's cleaning up my Mac. It's looking through any unneeded files and removing them, which is actually really cool because we already have 22.58 gigabytes. Um, it removes 23.84 gigabytes off my Mac. That is insane. Now it's looking through protection and determining any potential threats. So that's awesome. So we didn't find any type of malware, which is good. And it also increased the system performance with three tasks to run. So now I'm gonna run all this stuff and see what happens. So it removed our mail attachments, not it's removing our system junk. Wait, look at this at the bottom. The app icon is animating. That is, okay. Design stuff like that really gets to me. I, that is really, really cool. I really like that. Now it's going into reading the trash. And wow, that was the last few steps are very, very fast and it's done. Wow, so our Mac is in great shape. It removed 23.84 gigabytes of unneeded junk. It protected my Mac and it ran free tasks to improve my Mac's performance. That is insane. Now, one thing I do wanna mention that I really, really liked is up here, you can actually take a look at this little icon and it shows you the available space on your Mac, the available memory, the battery, the trash, the CPU, your networks that you're joined to, your protection, and you can also connect to your Dropbox. Now, I think that is absolutely awesome that it shows all that information right there, right at a glance. Now, there are so many other things we could look out here. I could go on for hours looking at all this stuff. So be sure to go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go check out this app. Um, you can, there's a free version and a paid version, so you can at least check out the free version, um, see if you like it. But yeah, um, anyways, yeah, that's Clean My Mac X. I absolutely love this app and I will be using this app a lot. I can tell you that right now. All right, so now let's take a look at some of my other favorite apps. And the first app we're gonna start with is Final Cut Pro. I absolutely love this app. I've seen a lot of people say that they have iMovie, they don't need Final Cut Pro. Let me tell you, you need Final Cut Pro. I absolutely love this app. It is a great editor, totally worth the money. It's 
this is not sponsored, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, let's actually take a look at one of my projects you can look at. So edit. this is one of my favorite projects from last year that I did, um, checking out the iPad Pro. And you can just look, I mean, all of this stuff that I've done, it would be so difficult to do on iMovie or something like that. All these VO clips, the music underneath it. I mean, this right here is a compound clip that I actually edited the music together to make it flow easier. I absolutely love this app. And at the end, you can always get something awesome like this. Which, I, I mean, I love making this video. And Final Cut Pro made it so much easier. Here's my project for the Philips Hue. Um, review that I did. I mean, just all the stuff, like it runs so smoothly. And I have all these compound clips doing all these things as well as the timeline. I mean, I love it. This is such a great app. And then moving on away from Final Cut Pro, we're going to go to actually Apple Motion, which is my second favorite app. I use this app all the time. I actually, this is probably not good, but I actually don't use Photoshop. I use Apple Motion as my Photoshop because Apple Motion integrates so well into Final Cut Pro. You can make effects, generators, transitions, and titles right in motion and publish them straight to Final Cut Pro like that. It makes it so much easier to create these um, like title templates and use them in Final Cut Pro. I love it so much. And then if you go into your um, a, a blank motion project, I use this as my Photoshop. You can add text and shapes and you can draw on there, which I don't use because it's very difficult. But I mean, it has all of these things, filters and behaviors and generators and particle emitters. I absolutely love motion. Um, it's so much cheaper than pho Photoshop. And I actually got it in a bundle with Final Cut Pro, which is awesome. But um, yeah, I love motion. I definitely love the app. Now moving away from Final Cut Pro in Motion, let's move to Xcode. Now this is the app that you used if you were developing an iOS app. And I don't know if y'all know this, but I absolutely love developing iOS apps. And this is of course the app that I use. A lot of people hate on Xcode. I don't really understand the reasoning behind that. I absolutely love Xcode. I think it's designed great. The interface builder is so fluid and I love to be able to use Swift. Swift is my favorite programming language by far. I started taking um, Java this year in school and let's just say I haven't enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed Swift. But anyways, yeah, I, I love Xcode. It is an absolutely great app. Now the app that I probably use the most is Google Chrome. That's right, I do not use Safari. I use Chrome and I'm sorry. I don't know why. I just, I really like Chrome more. I use Safari on my phone and my iPad. I just like Chrome on my Mac. It's just, I don't know, I just like it. I started using it whenever the YouTube Studio beta came out because Safari, it did not support Safari. Um, but now I'm kind of, I use Chrome all the time. I barely ever touch Safari. I love it also because Hangouts is integrated very well into it, which I use Hangouts to text people who don't have iPhones. Um, yeah, I love it. And I, I just, I like the design. I like how you can change the themes. Yeah, I'm, although I say that and I have just this basic black theme, but I absolutely love Google Chrome um, 100%. Another app that I love is the Apple Music app. We just recently started using Apple Music and I absolutely love Apple Music. I'm sorry, I like it. And there we go. It is my music um, streaming service of choice I've used. Google, um, Amazon, and now Apple. And I absolutely love Apple Music. Um, I love the browse, the for you. I mean, all, all of these things, I, they're just great. I, I, I love Apple Music. But yeah, I guess that's basically it for this video. Those are my top favorite apps. Of course, I have other apps that I love to use as well, but those are basically my favorites. Um, also, QuickTime. Just want a big mention to QuickTime. I love QuickTime and AirDrop. I love those as well. But anyways, yeah, those are my favorite apps. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to go check out Clean My Mac X, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description or you can go check that out. 
Um, you can, yeah, just check it out. I love it. Um, I'll also leave links for all these apps in the description as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more videos like this. Comment down below, what's your favorite um, Mac app? If any of these apps are your favorite or if you have some other ones that I did not mention, be sure to tell me down there. I'd love to chat with you. But yeah, um, thank you again to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. Um, yeah, it's I, I love Clean My Mac X. I mean, I can't wait to use it again whenever I have more storage built up on my computer, um, which will happen because I use my computer all the time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video and yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye.